Hello everyone and welcome to the Police Department. My name is Chief Shepard and I'm the Chief of Police for the City of Fountain Valley Police Department. I hope you're all having fun at our Youth and Government Day. And the Police Department is going to show you some of the vehicles we use in our everyday patrol as well as our new state-of-the-art SWAT truck. You also get to see a demonstration of our booking process that we use in our jail. And last but not least, you'll get to meet our school resource officer. I hope you enjoy our presentation and please enjoy the day. Hi, good morning. My name is Corporal Rodriguez and today I'm going to explain to you some vehicles that we have here in our police department. Uh, one of our vehicles that we use is this, this uh, Chevy Tahoe and this is used by our supervisors. Um, in a minute, I'd like to show you a little bit about what we carry inside, but in general, we uh, they have uh, a shield and some other items that we might use in a critical incident. Uh, this is uh, set up as our designated command post. If the uh, supervisor needs to set up somewhere um, to start de-escalating a situation, um, these are extremely important for supervisors to have in the field, and we currently have two in the fleet, um, and this is one of our uh, one of the two. So some of the basic items that we have here in our, our Chevy Tahoe, that's a supervisor vehicle, is uh, we have our, our RAM and our, we call it a PIC, uh, Helligan Tool. Uh, we use that to uh, gain entry into homes that uh, we need to get in for any emergency situation. Um, we also have here a uh, entry, uh, it's a shield, and uh, it does help with uh, you know ballistic, ballistic help, but nothing is bulletproof, but that does give us a little bit of protection for officers sometimes uh, we are have to engage people with, uh, with weapons and uh, this is something to protect us. And also some items here, some flex cuffs and some other items that the supervisors need uh, on a daily basis. So this is our SWAT truck from the Fountain Valley Police Department, but we are, we are a regional team. We're combined with other agencies in Orange County. Um, this is a transport vehicle for, to transport equipment and our operators. And some of the general stuff that we have in here, I'll show you. This item here is our helmet for our SWAT operators, and it's equipped with our comms integrated and into our, our system here. It's one easy click, and you click them in, and you're ready to go, and you have to plug it into your radio, of course. Uh, this is, these are actually pretty lightweight nowadays. They make them very efficient for us, but they're also ballistic. Um, this is a gas mask. Uh, what it is, it, it prevents you from getting some of the gas exposures that we deploy sometimes on operations. And this is a filter um, and it's simple. It's a simple seal that seals around your face. They do have to be personally fitted to your face or um, it might leak through and it might not be as efficient. This is our entry vest. Each operator has a different style of how they have it set up, but this is our general setup. Um, they, they do have rifle plates, which uh, prevent rifle rounds. Um, in addition to that, uh, they do have ballistic capabilities on the arms and on your leg area too, if you need it. So this is kind of the general setup. We do have a medical kit here. Most operators have medical kits, tourniquet, and then the radio connection port. Yeah, this is the shield. Uh, this is a very um, basic uh, shield. It, uh, it, it does has seen some some years of uh, usage, but uh, still a very effective tool. Um, we need to protect ourselves from uh, certain unknown threats. And of course, this is the the, uh, the battery and ramp. We do uh, sometimes have to uh, make entry into buildings or, and uh, this will help us gain entry uh, safely. Hi, my name is Officer Bray. I'm with the City of Fountain Valley Police Department. Uh, my current assignment with our department is a motor officer. I work in our traffic bureau. My primary duty is I'm assigned a motorcycle and I will drive around the streets of Fountain Valley and I will issue moving violations, uh, so tickets, uh, to people who don't obey the laws, rules of the road. Um, I also go to uh, traffic collisions. Any time that there's someone involved in a traffic accident, I'm there to uh, take a report, make sure that everyone's okay, and uh, get them the assistance that they need. So while I'm riding on my motorcycle, I have to wear a helmet. It is a uh, big safety component to being on a motorcycle. Along with the helmet, I wear gloves to protect my hands in case I uh, happen to fall or go down. Uh, I also have a uh, laser device. It's called a LiDAR. This item is designed to uh, obtain uh, people's speeds when they're driving way too fast. 
I can actually, uh, their, their speed limit is gonna come up here and I can obtain um, uh, if they're going fast or too slow. Next, uh, if I do stop a car, I have here, it's called a Brazos device. This is uh, how I write my tickets now. Uh, it's, it's equipped to uh, get everybody's information as I scan it in. And once I get all their information in there, I'm able to print out their ticket through here. Over to my right, we have our patrol vehicle. This is assigned uh, to every officer that works throughout the day uh, and at night. Uh, this vehicle is equipped with a computer uh, to help officers uh, get dispatched to calls. Uh, it's got lights, it's got sirens. Uh, inside the vehicle, it's equipped with uh, tools and equipment that are uh, needed for everyday operation for our patrol officers as they go out and keep our city safe. So as I mentioned before, every vehicle is equipped with a computer. It's called a MDC. Uh, with this computer, uh, we're able to see calls that are uh, on the board and we'll be able to dispatch ourselves to those calls. We'll be able to see the addresses to the homes that we need to go to. Um, and if we need to know where we're going, there's maps that are in here that we can also access. Also, we have our radio system. Uh, when we are getting dispatched to calls, uh, we will use these radios uh, to communicate with our dispatch inside the building. Uh, also with our radios, we have loudspeakers. So we'll be able to talk to people from inside our car. If they're standing a distance away, we'll be able to communicate through them through that means. We are uh, about to enter into the Fountain Valley Police Department jail. Before we do that though, we have to be safe. So we have to take our taser devices and we have to take our handguns and place them in this lockbox here before we enter. Once it's in there, we're good to go. Come on in. So through this door behind us, there's a called a sally port. It's like a garage. Uh, that is where uh, the person who's arrested They'll be in the patrol unit of the officers. They'll go into that garage there, open this door, and then they'll come to this gray board here where they're gonna have their photo taken. From there, they'll walk over this way and they'll go into the uh, booking room right in here. This is where they'll uh, get processed with doing paperwork primarily. And after we go from this point, we'll come over here and they will get fingerprinted. We have a different couple cards here where information gets filled out. We then have them place their hands on this board here, which is full of ink. And on the back side of these cards, they will place their thumbprints and their fingerprints all throughout this card. So this is just one of many of the jail cells that we have here. When someone is arrested and we need to have them held for some time, we'll place them in this room where they can sleep on the bed and uh, wait until they can be fully processed and either released from here or taken to Orange County Jail. Hi, I'm Officer Gomez with Fountain Valley Police Department. I'm here to explain to you what Fountain Valley Police Department does and as well as what police officers do in general. Uh, we conduct a variety of duties and crime prevention. Uh, we enforce state and local laws. We issue citations. We make arrests. We conduct investigations, missing persons, and assist in special crime prevention. I'm currently assigned as a school resource officer in the city, and I primarily respond to all 15 schools within the city. I My responsibilities include developing a positive relationship between students and the police department. I go over safety procedures uh, for potential threats in the school. I conduct drills with students and staff. I respond and try to mitigate uh, aggression between students or students and their parents in some cases. Uh, my assignment also focuses on arresting students that may be bringing weapons to school, drugs to school, making threats on campus. Uh, and I try to maintain a positive relationship as a mentor or leader. Um, Fountain Valley's overall roles are enforcing the laws, preventing crime, and responding to emergencies, and providing support services. Thank you.